Hey everybody, it's Flux here, and today I want to do a quick video about backpedaling. So I've seen a lot of suggestions about making backpedaling slower, and what does that actually mean? Well, uh, in Blade Symphony, uh, you the WASD keys, the movement keys, um, allow you to move uh, equally as fast in all directions. And we can see that by um, the key commands in the console. You can follow along at home. If you go to the console and you type in CL forward speed, then you can see that forward speed is 450. And by default, all the other side, side speed and back speed are also the same. So I have already just adjusted them, but uh, you can see the speeds here. Um, by default, they are all the same. So move in in all directions is the same. Uh, what does that actually also mean? Well, what that means is an opponent can back up uh, a little bit uh, well, at the same exact speed as you, the same way with like shuffling and rolling and all that stuff. And it has been suggested to make the game a little bit more tight knit, a little bit more tactical by uh, making back pedaling slower. And let's just take that very, very literally. Let's say, for instance, uh, right now we do seal back speed of 100 and modify that. And so now I'm walking backwards very slowly. And you can see how I can reach the bot. Well, I don't really, I don't think the bot even behaves correctly. I think the bot like cheats a little bit. In any case, um, you can see that how I'm moving slowly backwards. So what does that actually mean? Well, now back, uh, the S key is terrible. I can fight, I can fight, and I want to shuffle backwards or whatever, but pushing the S key is almost always uh, puts you at a disadvantage, right? You would almost always want to do this. Look to the left and then run to the side. Look to the right run to the side. Well, then you would say, well, flex. Why don't we uh, change side speed as well to compensate for that? Okay, let's do that. So CL side speed. And uh, now side moving to side to side is also equally as slow as uh, moving backwards. So, so I can't do this anymore, but I can still do this, right? I can still turn around and look backwards. Inevitably, someone will do that, right? Someone will turn around, turn around and fight, turn around and fight, because it's it's much much better to do that. So what happens now? Well, you could say um, flux, you know, turning back around uh, exposes your back to shurikens and you can't intercept or block backwards. This is, a, so this is really, really hard to play like this. Well, somebody will figure it out. Somebody will be the master of turning around instantly because you could do this instantaneously. Um, and, and there's no limitations on this, this sort of turning left and right. So inevitably, inevitably, someone will script uh, and and make this the ideal strategy, and and someone who doesn't do this is actually at a huge disadvantage, um, because you you know fighting against that, you you can't really. You have to you know you ha you using the ASD keys, you, you, it's it's the worst possible choice. You no almost never want to use those now. So it turns the game into a never touch those keys because that's for newbies um, always turn around and then turn back around as soon as possible in fact um, there's even a, a key command that is specifically made for joysticks uh, for this purpose because in, with the, in a joystick setting it's much harder to turn 180 degrees um, so we've even added uh, this is you know this has existed forever um, BB joystick turn 180. That actually turns you around 180 degrees. And you can bind that to a button. So I can fight, 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 turn around, turn around, fight. All the while, this back speed change did nothing to the game. Right? I could still do exactly what I've done before. And it's instantaneous. Well, you were saying, well, flux. We can take out that control, right? We can take out the take out this command. We don't have to have it. Let's just drop joystick support, for example. You know, let's not. You know, we don't have to be that serious. But let's just drop that command. Okay. So what about all the other commands? Like, for example, sensitivity. 
or seal yaw speed, which allows you to turn quite fast with uh, you know the plus left or the minus left commands. Um, there's a there's a myriad of ways in which, because of the nature of the game, that allows you to turn freely and be able to look at any direction and walk that direction. It's always inevitable that someone will do that. Um, the same thing goes with shuffling, right? Let's make shuffling backwards bad. Well, someone's just going to turn around and shuffle forward. Um, let's make, um, let, let's do that. And then, you know, you can also include that with uh, the turn 180 command, shuffle, and turn back. That would be the optimal way to play. Uh, so I've heard another suggestion coming along this line of thinking. Uh, we can do maybe something like uh, chivalry where I believe how it works is you look at your opponent and as as you're looking at them, you lock onto them. And that way you can run much faster towards them. Okay, that might work. Um, it's very specific because uh, it'll only work f uh, when you have one opponent. What happens when you're in F of A? Well, you don't have one opponent. So uh, you, you can make it that they're targeting totally free, right? So sort of sort of similar to shurikens, where um, you're throwing a shuriken and only locks on when you're in FF, or when you're in a duel. Um, it it's it's starting to bother me though that um, the game has to become two games. One is a totally different set of rules when you're playing, you know, with your friends in FFA versus the the rule sets that you play when you are in a duel. And say, for example, you know, the School of War does these really popular events called Battle Chess, and you don't actually have to uh, challenge anyone to a duel, you can just stand in there. And say we made that system where whoever you, looks at, you look at, you, you, you can run faster towards them. Now what happens when there's spectators standing behind me? I can, I can run towards them too. Um, so I don't know, it just creates a very odd game in which this system which is so fundamental to the core of the game is reliant on that and, and, and nowhere else and having to make people learn two types of games it strikes me as sort of a poor design so I want to sort of leave that as a very last um, alternative a last backup if we can't solve it uh, we can do something like that, but I would ultimately not like to do that. So anyway, leave me your thoughts and comments in the YouTube section below, or you can leave your thoughts and comments on the Blaze of Any discussion forums. Thank you for watching, and this is Flex signing off.